Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make an advanced menu system. Now, if you watched the last video, I showed you an easy way to do it. Now, I'm going to show you a complicated way to do it because we're going to do a nine option menu system. <coughs> First, get the basics out of the way. Let's get our little switch here, get that ready to go. Custom event going. Allow reuse. And we're good to go on that. Let's get our spare room going. Set this up so we spawn in. And I'll disable this. Of course, if we use our custom event, it'll enable this. That's where we're off to a good start. Now we're going to set up two integers here, not just one. We're going to use two because we're using two different uh, angles of uh, <coughs> gameplay here. Two, that'll be left. This will be right and this will be left. Sorry. Top four. One. Three. We're going to set the two by standard. Let's also rename this. Or either that'd be horizontal. We're going to make the other one. This will be up. Uh, oops, not that one. Top one. And this will be down. And top three. And for those of you who don't know what those are, I will show you real quick. There they are, they're the D-pad right there. Okay. <coughs> if you want to know which function does what, just go right there and you can see what they do. Okay, same setup. One, three. Let's also rename it. Vert, that's for vertical. Vertical, horizontal. Now we got to build our buttons here real quick. Oh wait, forgot one more pin. We need to build a string now. <coughs> we put vertical first, horizontal second. Get rid of the space, and we're good. Gotta make sure all four of these build this. If it's not building it, it's not going to move. We want this to build it also when we start up. And we also want our cancel button. So then when we're done, it'll exit. And this is going to be the jump button. Okay, now let's build our menu. Compare equals this will make it. All right, I want to that. This will make it red. Not equals, we'll make it white. Okay, now we just copy this over. Something. 
Now to add our string to it. Up. That all lines up. Yes, it does. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to test all these, make sure that they work properly. set these guys up so that they also test it. This guy back here. And this guy over here. Okay. Now we gotta number all these. <laughs> so this one we're going to label as 1-1 one, because one, it's on floor 1 and they uh, on bottom level. Well, floor one and one to the one to the left. It's gonna go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Okay. We'll label this one, two, because it's first row, second spot. And we're gonna label this one, three, first row, third spot. This one we're gonna label two, one, second row, first spot. We'll label this one 2-2, two, two, second row, second spot. And we're going to label this one 23, second row, third spot, and so on and so forth. Then this one is going to be 3-1, and I'll make this one 2, make them both 2-2 two, two, so that way <coughs> we'll start in the middle. Show that it works. Let's go ahead and show it off. It takes a long time to load for all the coding. Okay, so now we activate it. Oh, wait. No. I forgot one thing. I always forget something. <clears throat> I always forget one important ingredient. That's always me. We need a camera. I always forget the camera. I'll stop it. Look. That yeah, looks okay. Let's move it back a little bit. Yeah, I guess that's okay. There we go. That looks better. So we're going to put some labels on that soon. Okay. And we need to take our custom event. And this will activate it. Okay, now, now it'll work. I always forget about the camera. Come on, load up. <clears throat> Alright, so now we activate it. Takes it to that screen. And 
looks just like a nine piece menu. <coughs> and you can exit it just fine. Okay. Well, I'll activate it again. Okay. So now we got the menu. Now we gotta make it do something. <coughs> gonna make this give us some weapons now I recommend you use the loadout for this and not this part because this part is kind of iffy <clears throat> just so you know I recommend you use this <clears throat> so this one was the uh, goss we're gonna make this the goss cannon yeah we'll make this the goss cannon We'll make this one, no, make this one the rocket launcher. We'll make this one the BFG. This one, the heavy assault rifle. I'm gonna put the scope on it. What the hell? We'll make this one uh, the chain gun. This the plasma gun. We'll make this the pistol. There we go. Is that near yeah, time there? This is the shotgun. And finally, we'll make this the super shotgun. Okay. Now, again, I recommend you use these because it's a lot easier to select your loadout. So, when you do the weapon plus option, you have to do the weapon takeaway option. And that takes a lot more programming for that. This is just a better way to do it. <clears throat> Some labels on this. Totally forgot about that. So we know what we know what we're getting. Okay. So this is the cost cannon. Let's put the frame on this. Let's say right about yeah, there. This will be the heavy assault rifle. This will be the pistol. This will be the shotgun. And 
this will be the super shotgun. All right, so we got our menu. Let's try it out. <clears throat> So now we push the button. Pick which gun we want. Heavy assault rifle and we got the chain gun. Goss cannon. Super shotgun. Plasma gun. Normal shotgun. ANG pistol. A rocket launcher. And finally the BFG. And that is how you get that to work. <clears throat> okay, now to make this perfectly clear, the equal sign is the activator. You can use the not equal sign for something you want to deactivate. So if you want to give a weapon through the uh, in inventory slot, You'd have to have this give you the weapon and then this take away the weapon when you're not included on that. That's how you make that work. But you're going to make it activate anything. You can make these activate numbers. You can have a passcode system on here. If you know how to set it up um, <coughs> through a build option, you can set it up that way so that it'll work. And there you go. That's how you get that to work. So that being said, hope you all found this helpful and you all take care.